Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And it involves changing the LEGO City. Now typically I would just make these changes on my own. But what I'm going to do is host a members only live stream or we Zoom call. And we're going to make the changes to the LEGO City together. And they're going to be pretty drastic. Those changes include moving the entire beach area. Yeah, that's all gonna move. Not a huge fan of the way the train track has to curve and swerve around here, and I can't have the train track go around here because then it goes over water and looks even more silly. So the entire beach is gonna move. I do have a body of water over here, and this is where our boat is, or our boatyard is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the beach over here somehow. I have a pretty good idea of how we're going to do it. I've been giving it some thought over the last few days and I'm pretty excited to execute my plan, but I'm going to make sure to take everyone's opinion into consideration and do it live with the members through Zoom chat. It's going to be an interesting way of doing things and it's actually how I came up with the changes for the Ninjago platform, which is still a work in progress. Obviously Big Ben isn't supposed to be there. We're going to be converting Big Ben into a Rebrickable modular building just like we did with the Coliseum and I still have to work on a bunch of stuff over there, but today we're going to be focusing on moving The beach so that it's with the other body of water on the far end of the Lego city Just finished up with day one of making the changes the first thing that we did was actually change up the train track just ignore the mess for now, but the train track used to loop all the way around here and the train crossing was about there and then it reconnected here so i've opened up all of this space right here by having these switches go at an angle and then turn and park beside the garage also we got rid of the loop that goes around the city so the train used to do one large loop that could go around the entire city including the train yard and then come back around here. So there was a double track right here. And by removing the double track, I've opened up half base plates all along here. So actually quite a bit of space. And now the intention is to have a switch track right here, and that will connect with this line here so that the continuous loop will only be around the city. You'll also notice that the beach is gone. The whole point of making these changes was to get rid of that train track that crossed over the beach and also to consolidate our water on the far side of the city. Now this train track will, neat and tidy, go right around here and connect back that way so it goes around the perimeter of the city and it leaves this space open for us. I'm also gonna raise these tables up just so they're back at the normal height as the remainder of the city. I think, I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm gonna take this and just push it into that corner there so we can have our campsite on the far edge just on the outskirts of the amusement park opening this up for whatever we want to make it. Now we move the beach over here. Essentially what I did is, well, just drop that table down to water height, just like that there. I actually cut some plywood so that this is raised up here and this is all lower over here. And we have the, the sand going around here for the beach. Got a little green patch right here with all of our beach huts. And we still have to add our staircase, render this road, move this gas station, clean everything up, get our overhead cranes, put it in position, extend this cliff edge out probably to about here. I've put the old fishing store on the edge there, and we've got to blend in that plywood as well. I could use brick to do it, but I like to use plywood. This plywood that I use is actually one brick, so when we line it up, it lines up just perfectly like that there. I really don't mind using it. It's a way to conserve a lot of brick and actually reduce costs significantly. I've also got to tidy up our boatyard here, make some changes to our docks and everything like that as well. This was day one. We got a lot of the rough drafting done. And tomorrow we will continue on these changes into day two. So it's sort of a two-day LEGO City overhaul. Uh, it's going to go a lot easier tomorrow because I won't be doing it live. Sometimes when I'm trying to host chat, goes a little bit slower and you got to chat with everybody and you got to keep everything going and you got sort of multiple things going on so it's sort of hard to get things done efficiently but tomorrow 
Uh, we're going to get a lot, well, we're pretty much going to get all of this done except for the refined detail. So it'll be all rough drafted. And then you guys can let me know what you think of these changes by commenting below, of course. And I'm excited to wake up tomorrow and get right to it. Exciting times here in the Lego City. Always changing. I think it's nice to consolidate that water here in one spot. Continuing to work on some changes here in the Lego City. It's just another day in the life of Brixie. An absolute disaster. Well, let me tell you, everybody. We're nowhere near done the Lego City changes for this Lego City update. I've opened up what we call a big old can of worms down here in the Brixie basement. But I'm really excited to show you some of the ideas that I have and excited to show you the changes that we've been able to make over the last two days. Let's have a look. So we're gonna start where I'm standing here and we'll make our way to the boat yard over there and I'll show you some of the finalized changes. Well, not finalized, but coming along. So we have our campsite here. We just finished building this campsite and it has the uh, treehouse, it's got the blacksmith, it's got the gravel road, it's got all the campers, it's got a forest, it's got all sorts of fun activities happening here. This will be moving in the near future. Um, probably tomorrow, and I will make another video on me moving this and start working on some of these completion changes, but it's already 9.30 at night and I just don't have enough time to move it today. It's going to move over here in this vicinity. More on that later. Originally, I thought I was going to move this campsite over here. The issue with that is, is this campsite comes right up against the road there. This roller coaster used to be on the edge of those green plates, so that road would go right up against the roller coaster, and the campsite would be located right here with the gravel road going this way. The issue with that plan was I don't get any more space for my amusement park. And what I was going to do is move this over here and use this space for skyscrapers and other buildings. But now I've decided, you know what? We're going to expand the amusement park. The amusement park is now going to have all of this space. You can see I've already moved the roller coaster. And this is going to leave us a lot more room for things like a go-kart track, maybe future Lego sets that they release. Uh, more flowers, more trees, more people, more activity. This is the largest amusement park that the Lego City has ever seen. And the reason I'm not too concerned about how much space this is going to take is because we still have a lot of space that's available for other buildings all along here. So until that space is gone, I'm not overly concerned about giving the uh, additional real estate that we made somehow by making these changes to the amusement park. So we are going to be building something epic over here soon. And I cannot wait to do that. And we're also going to move that campground. So that's going to leave some space over here for some buildings. And of course, when you move stuff in Lego cities, you can't move one thing and not move another thing. So obviously this campground area is going to be filled with some of those buildings that you see over there in the residential area. And I've got a pretty good idea. It's not finalized yet, but I've got a pretty good idea of what we're going to do. Don't judge me by my mess here. I always make a mess when changing uh, the Lego City. But things always seem to improve. But yeah, definitely a lot of these buildings over here, Police Station, Quickie Mart, uh, some other ones as well, are going to fill this area over here where the campground is. And it's definitely going to make a lot more sense because why would we have skyscrapers located by a campground? It doesn't make any sense at all. You come out of the campground, you see skyscrapers, vice versa. You come out of the skyscraper, you see a campground. You'd be better off seeing things like, you know, city buildings, police stations, quickie mart, stuff like that. The campground's going to go right here in this area. Actually, my wife came up with that idea. It's a great idea because it's going to help us transition from the downtown core and skyscrapers and amusement park into the residential buildings. So it's gonna be very good. Also, in regards to open space, as I was discussing earlier, we opened up this whole area right along here by removing the double train loop. And that opens up a lot of space for future buildings as well. It's a tremendous amount of room that we can build 16 by 16 stud or 16 by 32 stud buildings and put them just 
uh, in front of that train line there. So lots of room for growth. Oh my gosh, this is funny. I didn't realize this, but <laughs> we're Pirates of Barracuda Bay, or the Black Seas Barracudas. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got a jar of dirt. Wrong movie. Obviously, all of this has to change. Uh, we're going to move this gas station, move this road plate, move this half base plate right here. We're going to blend this in. I think these are positioned correctly just so we have enough room to create some nice custom rock edge there. It's not as tall as a Mert, so I'm going to have to do some custom rock edge with uh, dark bluish gray or dark stone gray and slopes and everything like that and do some custom, custom rock work along there. I've made some changes to the boatyard area. This... Uh, dock used to be positioned like this the issue with that was is i didn't have enough space for boats to access my overhead crane and it was really clustering that area so what i've decided to do is something strange i've moved the boat yard way out here in the middle of no man's land but what we have to remember is this rock edge is going to come out there's going to be a lighthouse on the end and that lighthouse or this sorry rock edge might have like a boardwalk on it now so that you can walk out here and you can access the boat dock and then the boat launch, I believe, is going to stay right there, along with the overhead crane right here. And that way, boats could hypothetically come around here, get loaded up, back back out, and come back out over here in this hypothetical ocean over here. And I think that makes sense, and it gives me a ch an opportunity to connect this dry land or dry rock with this boat dock. And then, we all, of course, we have to blend all of this in using various sand and with tan and dark tan elements. Uh, I've also moved uh, over the factory one base plate. You can see there's an open base plate there and that's going to give us some more room when we go about changing the campsite and residential area. So I've opened a can of worms here. Hey look there's another boat on dry land. It's the party boat. Party boat will probably be parked over here because it'll be a party on the beach. Hey look there's Dan Jim. Hey buddy. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a lot of work to do here. It's still one heck of a mess, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And tomorrow is gonna to be the day where I finalize a lot of these changes and have a tremendous amount of fun doing it because it's, it's a lot of work, but it's awesome coming up with new LEGO City layouts. And the one thing that I'm probably most excited for is the massive size of the amusement park. It is huge now. I knew before it was gonna be cramped, but now it's huge and I'm pretty stoked on it. I don't think that we're gonna move the Ninjago City platform. I think that's gonna stay right where it is and we're still gonna do all that rock work with waterfalls. And now that there's so much room here in the amusement park, we might even be able to integrate some sort of waterfall coming off the edge with like a canal or some sort of water feature even in the amusement park that branches off of the uh, Ninjago uh, platform. I'm just spitballing ideas. There's a tremendous amount of ideas that we can do and that's the beautiful thing about LEGO Cities. I can't wait to continue progressing with this massive change here in the LEGO room. I think once I get this done, I'm going to be extremely satisfied with this layout. One thing we have to remember is I just moved down here in this basement here in October of 2020 and I think we've achieved a lot. We've changed a lot. We've gone through a lot of different uh, ideas and now I'm finally starting to become a little bit more confident with this layout well not right now in this very moment but once these changes are done and yeah it's gonna be great let me know what you guys think of all these changes by commenting below I'm sort of sold on this idea I really do think that the campground over here will look tremendous what we got going on over there with the combined water is gonna be awesome and also the giant amusement park uh, is gonna look great and the only reason we have the luxury of doing that is because of all the open real estate for other buildings around here plus we know there's not another modular building coming out for quite some time as january 1st just rolled by and that's not going to happen until 2022 now remember to like subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here in the near future thanks a lot for watching and bye for now